What's goody fellas and welcome back to Crazy Stupid Experiments. So today we're going to rock with the wide receiver. We have done the quarterback and the running back both to amazing results. This time our test tubes will be on Hawaii and Georgia. Both of them are freshmen, 6 foot 5, 195 pounds, 99 overall across the board. So they've got height, sized Weight, that's, I think that's all the same thing. Speed, Excel, okay, that's a different one. The only difference in this one will be the quarterbacks, you know what I mean? The wide receiver can be as great as possible, but the problem is, who's throwing in the ball though? For Georgia, we have JT Daniels, and we also have a freshman, Carson Beck. So by the time that JT Daniels leaves the school, we're going to have Carson Beck for the remainder of the rebuild. As for Hawaii, test tube has Chavan Cordero. And they have Braden Shagger as a backup. He's 71 overall, not the best. By this point, you know why we do a really good team and a middle of the pack team. Just so you guys are aware as well, fellas, I did upload Darius Knight earlier today. Two videos as always. Last thing to mention is we are running a traditional spread offense with it jacked up all the way to pass it as much as possible. And offensive substitutions are set to the minimum so our wide receivers will see as much playing time as possible. I can't make it any better for both of them. We'll just have to see how we do. First of all, are we going to win this game against Clemson? It's an L. Great. That's how we want to start out. Oh, that's a tough loss. We don't want to be dropping games to Mizzou. Quarterback, he can just do whatever he wants. Running back, nobody can stop him. But wide receiver, he needs the ball to do anything. All right, Georgia signing some dogs and Hawaii signing some cats. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We go eight and four though. I don't think Hawaii would have done much better. And none of us are going to win the Heisman. It's all running backs. Literally all running back. And you don't want to tell me running back is broken in this game. JT Daniels winning awards. Oh, there we go. We got the bullet. Off. So we had 410 passing yards opposed to only 52 on the ground. We were dead last in rushing offense, but first in passing offense. I would check Hawaii, but they don't even have a bowl game, so I can't even do that. Well, at least JT went off. He had 5,000 yards compared to the rest of his class. And you got to imagine that's because of our receivers. There you go right there. Both of us are in the top five. So first of all, JT Daniels had 5,000 yards, 47 touchdowns, 12 picks. Test you about 116 receptions, 1,900 yards. Average 16.4, had 18 touchdowns. Longest reception is 71 and 146 yards. 869 after the catch and only dropped a singular pass. Whereas Hawaii had 90, 14, 30, only nine touchdowns, longest reception of 56, still averaged 119 yards per game though, which is really awesome. He dropped seven passes. I don't know what, how to explain that honestly, but pretty solid start nonetheless. Pretty good, pretty good. Seven or seven, <laughs> whatever one it is, he's up to an 85. So hopefully we can have a bit more success through the air with Hawaii. And as for Georgia, JT Daniels entering his senior season, he's a 94. When Vandergrift takes over next year, he's probably gonna be around 92 anyway. So our senior season, we should have pretty much a 96 to seven plus overall quarterback. Let's just hope that it translates to results. But first and foremost, JT Daniels, no slouch. Let's hope that Georgia can make a natty because looking at the schedule, I don't think it's gonna be Hawaii. All right, my guess for this season is a strong eight and four. I actually went to go make some deep fried chicken wings. So I haven't seen the score yet. Signed some decent players and we're 10 and two. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. We are throwing it for 444.8 yards a game and only rushing it for 56. So the experiment is going perfectly. We're also averaging 41.4 uh, points a game. And then we just got enough to upgrade our coach pretty much all the way up. Checking out Georgia though. What did we do? Seven and five, not good at all. So is this kind of like the running back where the player who played in a conference that was a little bit easier dominated so much more? I'm guessing it is. Seven and five is just unacceptable, man. Test Tube Hawaii is second. And again, in two years, it's been nine running backs and only one other position, which is test you. He barely missed out to 250 to 247. He missed out by one point. He would have literally been the Heisman by a single point, man. So we only rushed it for 53.6 yards and we passed it for 445. So Hawaii finished first in passing yards and we finished in second. We also finished second in points per game. Second to Hawaii. So JT Daniels is breaking records and basically test tube is essentially making him look really, really good. This guy just broke Colt Brennan's record simply because 
of how good our receiving core is. Well, how good a receiver is, I should say. And look at that, first and second are of course the two quarterbacks respectively. What about receiving? Okay, so this is where we're starting to differentiate a little bit. JT real quick at 5,300, 60 touchdowns, seven interceptions. Test tube, Georgia had 17,500 yards, 22 touchdowns. So a little bit less receptions, a little bit less yards. We had more touchdowns, average less yards per game, more yards after the catch, and we dropped two passes. So one, two, three. So our quarterback had 6,000 yards, 67 touchdowns, and eight interceptions. Test Tube doubled his receptions, more than doubled his yards, more than quadrupled his touchdowns, averaged more than twice the amount of yards per game, and almost 2,000 yards after the catch, and only dropped two passes. How is he not the Heisman winner? That's what I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense. And it seems really, really unfair. So keep in mind, whilst the quarterbacks are obviously very, very good, it's because of our scheme as well and offense with the full interpassing. It's super broken, apparently. In season three, A plus offense, fair enough. Let's just get right into what we're actually here for. Let's see what the quarterbacks are looking like under Brock Vandergriff. He's 94 overall, so we will in fact have a 99 overall quarterback for that senior season. Our receivers are also going to take some yards away from us because respectively, so they're 95, 95, 97. As for Hawaii, Braden Shagger is 79, so the best we're probably going to get is around 85. Then again, the receivers that we have aren't like that crazy either. So you would think that Test Tube Hawaii is going to get way more looks than anybody else on the team bar none. Wait, what happened? We left to go to Georgia. Oh, what the hell? Why are we on Georgia Tech though? <laughs> Did we just like dominate and then leave the team? Cause uh, we didn't get fired, I know that much. All right, now that this is all sorted, let's see how the difference in quarterbacks shakes this experiment up. We have Washington again, Colorado, Illinois from the Big Ten, and then it's a straight conference play. So let's see if this 79 overall quarterback is gonna be able to make test two Look as good as he did in his sophomore season. All right, rate it one out of 10. Beautiful fried chicken. Okay, we are dropping a lot of games here. I think this might be the first time that we've genuinely had a negative record at the end of the season. And it's all because of that stupid quarterback. We go four and eight, just like I thought. So this quarterback really was our downfall, man. The issue is we're so bad, I don't even get to see how many yards the team averaged. I guess we'll go to the bowl season, see what's up. Of course, Brock Vandergriff makes the Heisman voting. Ran the ball for 60 yards a game and passed it for 532. So this is by far the best season to date. The Hawaii quarterback actually had 4,300 yards, so not bad at all. But we led the nation respectively, both of us. It just happens that Georgia had a much better quarterback. 6,000 yards, 60 touchdowns, 15 picks. So we tied our most receptions, had our most yards, 21 touchdowns. So it just seems like very balanced. We did, however, average way more yards than we normally do and we only dropped the one par as for hawaii though we had 1838 so still better than our first season respectively 17 touchdowns i just don't think anything comes close we average 153 yards per game i just hope that this quarterback really levels up this offseason because he did play well he had 41 touchdowns 18 picks 4364 yards and he is an 83 started at like a 76 or something but after training results is he going to take that next step. We won the Heisman though, right? Have we? No, we haven't. This would be the first experiment where we haven't won the Heisman. I mean, I guess if Brock wins it, then technically we win it because he wouldn't have gotten it without us. It depends really how you want to look at it. Like, yes, we didn't win the Heisman straight out. We still have one more season to go, but if Brock wins it, it's kind of like a moral victory, I guess, for our wide receiver. All right, we got some people declaring for the draft. Our quarterback is trying to go. We got Ringo. He was the best one in the Beatles. But yes, Brock is sticking around even though he's only a sophomore. As long as we're not leaving, that's the important thing. And our quarterback is sticking around. All right, so the last season, A-plus offense straight across the board, 99s. This is good enough to win a Heisman. Coach is maxed out. Todd Monken's up to... 
at 13. And of course, Hawaii has to start out against ranked two Michigan. Why are they making it so hard for my little Hawaii, bro? We have a brand new offensive coordinator. Not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. I, just, I don't get it. Like we went 11 and two or whatever, and now we're just imploding. So our quarterback is up to 87. Pretty much gonna be around, I would say a 90 with the quarterback boost that we have. Of course, we are there. Just wanted to double check. And we've got a great group of receivers with us. And Brock is up to a 98 overall. So everything is exactly where it needs to be. I would just love to have another one of those 3,500 yard seasons. I just, I don't know if it's going to happen. Ray for Florida, Auburn. We have Bama. Okay. And of course, it always has to be somebody. It really is so difficult to go through the entirety of a season in the SEC and not run into something like this. All right, so we did have a finalist for the Heisman. We did make the conference championship. We absolutely beat the brakes off LSU, bro. And Brock Vandergriff gonna win the Heisman, I guess. Uh, the fact that we weren't even mentioned kind of pisses me off. Just a little bit, but we did say, depending on how you look at it, Georgia, 534 total offensive yards, first in the nation, with third last in rush offense, but first in the nation in passing, 467.8 yards, which you already know the deal with that right now, and Hawaii goes three and nine, man. So this quarterback that Hawaii got just wrecked all momentum for him. Yep, Brock, yeah, yeah. It's not your video, Brock. Relax, bro. Test tube broke George's record. Uh, he broke Hawaii's record as well. Broke his own record. Hawaii even set a individual career receptions with 515. He broke that from Zay Jones. Individual career. Hawaii broke George's record. Thank you. I've been pulling for Hawaii this whole time, man. Tag had 5,400 yards, mate, behind Vini. Like, he did really, really well. Hold on, before I look at that. Yeah, Hawaii. I edged him out big time. Obviously, 5,400 yards, 50 touchdowns, 17 picks. Let's go look at Georgia first, though. So Vandergriff won his Heisman. Congratulations. We had 1827. Just a very overall consistent career span for Test Tube Georgia. Dropped three passes. I mean, everything kind of just is where it should be, you know? Kind of maxed that out. But Hawaii, though, this is a roller coaster. We went from 1430 to 3500, back down to 1800, back up to 2900. Longest reception at 85. We had 28 touchdowns. So we barely missed out on 10,000 total career numbers. I guess 9,000 isn't bad though. Average yards per game was 237 in that last year. We dropped four passes. He won the Maxwell, Walter Camp, Walter Camp, Bolitnikov, and the Bolitnikov. Not to mention the amount of records that he broke. He had 437 yards in a game. The most receiving touchdowns, receiving yards, and receptions all absolutely dominated those. Individual career, same thing, led the NCAA, broke all the records, receiving touchdowns, yards, and receptions. So, so even though Test Tube Georgia is the safe pick, who are you drafting? Me personally, for the first time, I'm going with Hawaii. I know who I want to draft. I want the Hawaii one. But anyway, fellas, that is going to wrap it up for me. If you made it this far into the video, then you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Sometimes I'm winning, can I breathe right underwater?